I am here with Mark Firestone, President of External Affairs at Philip Morris International. Good to see you, Mark. Thank you so much. Your first time to Davos. How's it, it going? It is. It's very interesting. Uh, my colleagues and I are here. We're very delighted to be part of the event, and I'm enjoying the chance to learn a bit more about it. Yeah, so many exciting things take place here. We are here because of this brand new book, The Transhuman Code, How mm -hmm. to Program Your Future. And this book tackles all aspects of the way technology is affecting our lives, mm -hmm. disrupting our lives. And I want to talk to you about the topic of health. Mm -hmm. People might be initially surprised that Philip Morris is speaking to health, but technology has allowed your company to do something incredible. You're introducing a new product that will benefit the consumer's health. Is that right? Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. We have uh, been in the cigarette business for a very long time. Uh, in the last 10 years in particular, we've dramatically intensified our efforts to come up with a product for the many, many men and women who currently smoke, who will continue smoking, to give them a product that's significantly less harmful than continuing to smoke. And it's really been a series of technological innovations. Uh, the cigarette works very simply. You just have to light it. We want to make a form of tobacco product where there's no burning, no combustion, and therefore no smoke. And it was an effort in physics and chemistry and biology and computer science and all these different fields. And we have, since four years, been on the market with new products that are heat, not burn tobacco. And we're very, very excited that we have six million consumers who have switched from cigarettes to the new products. Yeah, an incredible example of using technology for good to better our lives, mm -hmm. which is what the book talks about. I got to ask you, it must have been a moment to be in the room at your company when this news was announced. Talk about a boost in morale. What was that moment like? Well, it's been very exciting. As I said, it's been a long effort in technology, uh, but it was really about two years ago where the company under our CEO made very clear that our fundamental business strategy is not simply to introduce new products that are less harmful, that are better for health, uh, but that our strategy is to replace cigarettes with these new products. And it, it takes a while to internalize that, uh, but everybody is on board, the mission is crystal clear, and it's really given us a focus in the company. Yeah, incredible. I, let me get your reaction to the book and this search for bringing human values to the conversation of technology. Uh, what's your take on the book and advice you would give to anyone else that wants to do what you're doing in their company? Well, I, I find it very interesting and I want to be very clear, I am not at all up to speed on all the latest technologies. Uh, when I learned computer programming, it was on punch cards in Fortran on an IBM mainframe. So I'm not uh, current with the technology. So I approached it uh, with that in mind. But I really like the fact, if, can I take it? Um, that in stating transhuman, I read an interview of one of the co-authors, Mr. Marrero, where he emphasized they deliberately picked a small t and a capital H for human. And I really do think it's important, as this book does, to emphasize that for all the wonders of new technology, that the human element, as the creators of the technology, as the consumers, as the potential victims, as the ideal beneficiaries, it's all about humans. And maintaining that focus, I think, is so, so important. Mm -hmm. And talk about values in your own life. I have uh, tried my best um, to understand values and to live up to them. And I went to a school for 14 years where much of the time we had to wear jerseys that were blue with white stripes, five on each arm, and each stripe stood for a certain value. And to me, words like honor and dignity and ethics um, are too often the subject of, oh, well, that's old-fashioned or that doesn't matter anymore. Uh, but I think they matter as much, if not more, than they ever did. And emphasizing that whether it's the latest advanced uh, technology or whether it's something very fundamental like farming in, in Africa, where I've had a chance to visit, these human values are, are ones that we have to keep top of mind. Absolutely. Your company is one to watch. Keep us posted on thank all you. this. And thank you so much for chatting. Thank you. Thank you so much, Megan, for having me. Thank you, Mark.